In this video, I want to show you the most important steps of the production of my short shopping dream, but especially want to give you some advices by highlighting what you can do to follow a logical workflow from references to the final video. For this short, I generated references with AI Mid Journey. And in particular, I was looking for a high ceiling, arches and spherical lamps. Tapping various prompts, I created different images until I noticed an image that for me had the most promising structure. So I went to 3ds Max, imported it as background, and with the camera match tool I recreated a similar camera in a three-dimensional space this time. I double-checked the position using some planes and started modeling. I used the simple modeling. For example, these arches are simple lines extruded, which are ideal to modify and adapt the 3D model in the following steps. Then I added the curtains, lamps, fixtures and everything as needed. Obviously enriching the scene with other elements such as this piano, which also included in the Cosmos library. With all the elements in place, I finally completed the lighting to start exploring the scene and creating new shots. Now that everything is ready, I create a series of camera to have different points of view of this space. I actually created a lot of them. I created about 20, 25 and then choose a set of 12 that best represent the space in my opinion. Now we have the shots and the music and we can finally build the storyboard. It's a simply a matter of putting all the shots in a sequence and studying the best combination of images, rhythm and music. In this case I'm basically using the final renders, but you can also create it with the more basic images. I invite you to observe that there is no real 3D animation here, what you see are zooms or movements of the images. But with still renders alone, we can already have a fairly consistent preview of the final video. Now let's move on to studying camera movements with the animatic. From the tools menu we can easily create a preview of the viewports. This panel will allow us to set a low rendering quality, basically the viewport quality, which however is sufficient to study the real movements of the camera within the scene. The goal of this step is not only to see the effect of the camera movements, but also to clarify which sequences will be rendered frame by frame and which will not. With the name Real Dolly, I identify all the tracking shots to be rendered with the render farm. While stills are the static images that we can animate in After Effects starting from simple images. Consider that around 50% of the video is made up of animated stills, which also means a good saving of time and costs for the final production. I obviously render the stills locally, while for the sequences I always use Fox Render Farm. And if you're a realistic interior student, remember that you can use it at 50% discount. You can find all the information in my animation module. Fox Render Farm is very simple to use. Just load Max file, which will automatically load all the assets connected to it. And when the job is finished, you'll find all the images in your local folder. Then import and edit the sequences in After Effects. This software is not ideal for editing, but since I needed to add depth of field effects and animate some shots, I preferred to do everything in the same tool. In fact, as you can see, some shots are made of two animated static images, imitating the parallax effect, while others are always static images with the addition of depth of field.
Now I just want to make a small note on the animation of trees. In this short, I used a very old animation technique which includes the addition of a bend modifier to imitate the swinging of the trunk, plus the selection of some polygons with a noise modifier applied. I must say that the final result is very satisfactory. If you are interested, I leave you in the description a link to a video by Eloy Andalus that explains very well how to do it. But it's somehow a heavy technique from the management point of view. Overall, for me, one of the best tools for animating vegetation is Grow Effects. Without necessarily going into too many details of the plugin, we can also use it in a simple way by downloading the free tree templates available on their website. And thanks to the plugin, you can animate it very simply through wind and turbulence parameters, and we can easily edit it. As you can see from this example, the movements are really realistic. To summarize, there are three main steps. Creation of shots, storyboard with music, and animatic to understand when to use the render farm. If I can give you a small advice, spend a lot of time with your storyboard. Work it hard until you almost reach a final result. Of course, you will always change something afterwards, but once the fundamental structure is confirmed, this will greatly facilitate the rest of the production. And now, if you want to see the final short, click here on the side.